Worst Animal Parents. Hello and welcome back to our channel. This video will require some sort of animal child protective services, I guess. Just imagine being born and thrown aloof just to fend for yourself. That's something your mom and dad would never do, right? We wish that had been the case for some animals as well. If you see how far these parents actually went for to be concerned with the term survival of the fittest or just to have fun with their kids or even torture them pretty badly. The last animal parent will definitely surprise you so stay tuned for that. But before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Cuckoo Chicks You might have heard the phrase, at least my mom is better than that of a cuckoo's. The fact is, a cuckoo's mom is the real villain in the story. Imagine literally abandoning your little one in a complete stranger's nest, then that stranger bird feeds your child and takes care of it. As hard as it might seem, the cuckoo actually does this to her chicks, and then they grow up and repeat the same cycle with their own chicks. They even lay their eggs in the nests of other birds to completely cut the parenting process out. Or they're just too lazy to be a parent. I mean, who does that to his little one? Mostly, they look for crow's nests. History shows that cuckoos and crows don't get along very well. So why would a mother leave its own unhatched egg in her enemy's kingdom? Well, as it seems, we have to ask the cuckoo mother herself and hope that some brave chick of the cuckoo clan breaks this toxic cycle. Storks These beautiful birds are thought to deliver human babies to their parents in kids' bedtime stories. Very magical and inspiring, right? But guess what? They might be the worst animal parents to their own offspring. As soon as they hatch numerous little storks, the mother holds each offspring by its neck, then throws them aloof. Looks like your mom is not the only one having mental breakdowns sometimes. Parenting is hard! It's hard! But we can't blame the storks for that. It's more of a natural instinct and has nothing to do with the stork being a bad parent. Most animals do this, not because they are mentally unstable, but they follow a process called reduction of broods. These birds usually lay numerous offspring at a time, and usually every time, they don't have the resources to feed or take care of each and every one of them. Hence, to reduce a few offsprings, they do this process for natural selection by throwing everyone out. The stronger ones survive, and the weaklings die. This way, she gets to keep the healthiest babies and discard the rest. Whoosh! Harsh! Hippopotami Everyone is familiar with the deadly pictures that were revealed from a national park in Zimbabwe. If not, here is how it goes. A mother hippopotamus tried to introduce its infant to her herd. An infant literally two days old and so small. Or rather, she tried to introduce it to them because as soon as she reached there with her baby, the entire clan of angry violent hippos attacked the baby and tore it apart into hundreds of pieces, a sight nobody wants to see. But the real question is, do these hippos also have the same theories behind being such bad parents? Well, we hate to say it, but yes. It's all about overpopulation and limited resources. Scientists have theorized that a normal herd of hippos consists of hardly 10 to 12 members. And sadly, there were already enough of them in the pond and there was no room for the little one. The mother tried to save it, but alas, she couldn't. This is just a theory to try to justify their aggressive behavior, but in reality, nobody knows the exact reason for this infanticide in the hippos clan. This is obviously because they are extremely violent creatures, so they are pretty hard to study and observe. Well, for the record, the remains of the infant hippo were eaten by crocodiles. Lions The king of the jungle is no exception. When it comes to bad parenting, the lions top the list as well. The male lion is a very prudent creature as per observation. When you're the king of the jungle, you obviously would have numerous enemies of other male lions claiming the throne. Lion versus lion unrests is very common. When the male in a pride changes, it kills the cubs of its predecessor. Then they try to impregnate the mother to make his own babies as the female lion, like most mammals, can't mate and get pregnant while feeding little cubs. This process is even more complicated than your Facebook love status, right? This process continues to go on in an ultimate war over territory and dominance. Pigs Pigs are not always as cute as Peppa Pig. They are the most horrendous animals in general and the worst parents in our opinion. They are naturally instigated in all forms. The infant piglets attack the adults and similarly the adults attack the piglets. But the worst part is maternal cannibalism. 
Yeah, you heard it right. The mother pig, as soon as it gives birth to its offspring, bites its kid sometimes. Bites it to death, to be precise. Scientists believe that this might be a response to childbirth pain. They might kill their babies and not even regret it. Most probably, it is the case of maternal aggression hormones. They usually see their infants as foreign bodies who try to attack them, hence they harm them in return. In farms, this behavior is prevented by giving the mother a strong sedative after giving birth. But this doesn't remove the aggression, rather postpones it. Now we're really confused about petting them. Pandas Pandas can be controversial too? Well, yes. When it comes to parenting, their lack of care is the main reason. Pandas are cute, funny, almost extinct, and highly vulnerable. But I would point it all out on their behavior and lack of responsibility as a mother and carelessness for their child. When a panda gives birth to more than one baby, it's left with a choice to feed only one of them and leave the other one to die. Pandas be like one child policy. But there's a reason for that as well. It usually gives birth to premature babies who weigh one nine hundredth of the mother. Hence, the mother has to keep holding the baby the entire time and feed it herself, which gets very frustrating in cases of more than one baby. But people have found a solution for this problem. As soon as more than one offspring is born, caretakers take one of them to the lab and place it inside an incubator. This gives the mother panda the impression that only one baby is born, hence it happily feeds it. As time passes and the panda is distracted, the other twin is replaced in the place of the first one to be fed by the mother. The offspring are shuffled from time to time, and the one in the incubator is fed with formula so everyone is happy. Male fish Well, things become very strange for fish too? No misogyny here, but male fish changes personality faster than a chameleon changes color. As soon as the female lays eggs, the male fish gives its all to protect its offspring from possible predators. It guards them day and night without rest. Well done, Nemo's dad, well done. But as soon as the eggs hatch, the dad switches completely. It now treats the little fishes as any other little fish of the ocean and feeds on them. Well, it seems like it protected the entire set of eggs to eat it as a breakfast later. The eggs which hatch and swim away faster are the ones who survive. It's like fighting for your life, running with gills. Giraffes What's wrong with cute tall giraffes? They are lovely, peaceful animals as far as we know. Well, let me tell you one thing when it comes to parenting. Giraffes are the worst at it. They are nothing like good parents in the animal world. As soon as a giraffe gives birth to her baby, the first thing she does is kiss them? Hug them? No, she rather kicks her baby for miles and miles. We didn't expect this answer either. Well, the same stork mother's logic applies here. Survival of the fittest. Due to the lack of resources available, when a giraffe gives birth to numerous babies, she tends to kick them off to test their strength. The weaklings die and the stronger ones survive. What an absolute epic example of wildlife behavior. Dolphins When we said about male fish earlier, it might have come to your mind that no dolphins would ever do such things to their child. They're cute and are favorite sea creatures out there. Why would they ruin their reputation? Well, as it seems, the same lion logic applies here too. It was observed in the wild that two male dolphins literally tried to drown a newborn baby dolphin two minutes after its birth and threatened his mother away. This behavior is rarely seen, but male dolphins do it to clear the way to the mother dolphin. Usually, mother dolphins tend to their newborns for several years, hence making her unavailable to mate with a calf by her side. So these male dolphins decided to cut back on time by literally getting rid of the baby dolphin. You must be wondering by now how bad these parents can get. After all, not all animal parents are the same and not all nurturing is the same. So let us know in the comments section below who you think is the worst of all parents. See you on the next one.